this fucking movie, guys. This movie. Oh, boy. Revenge is what makes a man like you exceptional. You know nothing about men like me. That is absolutely fantastic. So Bloodshot is a superhero film based on the comic book of the same name and in Bloodshot we follow a marine named Ray Garrison played by Vin Diesel, a marine who is sent home after being on duty and while on vacation with his wife they both get killed. But Ray Garrison is brought back to life at this company that is called RST, a company that is led by a character played by Guy Pearce. And essentially, when he was brought back to life, Ray Garrison now has these nanites that when he is ever injured, it essentially heals them right back up, kind of like Wolverine. And it's not just a healing ability that Ray Garrison has, but he also has super strength. And when he goes after his wife's killer, he realizes that what is happening isn't quite what it seems. By the way, I thought I should let you all know that the trailer for this film gives away a bit too much. But anyways guys, let's get into Bloodshot. This is what I can say about Bloodshot, guys. Now, when it comes to Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel seems like a really cool guy. He seems very genuine, and he seems like a guy that you'd actually want to hang out with and just, you know, just shoot the shit with. And it really does seem like that Vin Diesel is trying here. It really does. In terms of the action, there was actually one sequence that involved Isaac Gonzalez that I thought was well filmed, that I thought was well choreographed, and it was the one sequence that I could say that I just thought, whoa, okay. This was actually well done. And there were a couple of shots I thought the CG looked actually pretty cool. Like for one example, there was a shot in which you guys have seen the trailer where Vin Diesel gets half of his face blown off and I just thought, okay, that was cool. This was a movie that I originally had no intentions on seeing. I mean, when I first saw that trailer, I just thought this movie looks so fucking stupid but a couple of days ago i had really nothing going on and since we're still in this quarantine i don't know how long this thing is gonna last but i just thought you know what screw it i had the movie on voodoo thanks to my boss so you know what i will watch it and oh my god this movie guys this movie is so bad. I mean, oh my word. First of all, starting off with the performances, going back to Vin Diesel. Now, like I mentioned beforehand, it seems that Vin Diesel is actually trying, but my God, Vin Diesel, he is so bad in this movie. Because I don't know if it was just me, but every time that Vin Diesel was trying to get through more of an emotional beat in this movie, he was either whispering or he either yells. And every time that happened, I just thought, what are you doing, dude? And by the way, it's not just Vin Diesel that has a lovable performance. There is one particular character in this movie. Oh my god. Like, I'm not even joking. This is the way he talks. He talks like this, like he's trying to be a badass Owen, yeah. He talks like he's having gum in his mouth. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck was with this guy? Every time that this guy came on screen, I was laughing because not only of his performance, but the dialogue, the dialogue in this movie, oh my god. And here's something else that I discovered about this movie too. It was co-written by the same guy who brought us Fantasy Island. It makes so much sense. This movie, guys, is so bad that it is laughable. I mean, seriously, there are just some lines of dialogue in this movie that when you hear them, you just think, they wrote that? And it's not just the dialogue in this movie that's laughable, but the action sequences in this movie are so poorly done. Like, for example, the sequence in which you see Vin Diesel going after his wife's killer, like, that's in the trailer, so that's not really a spoiler, even though that trailer does give away a lot. But there's a part in this action sequence into which he just walks up to this guy, and how this shot is framed, it just goes like this, right when he's being shot, and just how it's done, it's just so cheesy. Now, here's the thing, guys, I don't mind cheese in an action movie, but when that action movie is taking itself way too seriously, it is just so bad. I mean, seriously, guys, when you're seeing certain action taking place or when you're hearing certain dialogue, this is the type of movie that feels like it is being ripped right from the 80s, Brian to Modern Times. Now, here's the thing, like I mentioned beforehand, I don't mind cheese in an action film, but when you're taking that cheese a little too seriously, that's when you're really just shooting yourself in the foot right there. And then there's this one guy that is just constantly making joke after joke after joke after joke. And after some time, I just thought, okay, can he just die, please? And something else about Bloodshot is that this movie is so 
damn predictable. I mean, you can call out everything in this movie from a mile away from how certain character decisions are being made, from when an action set piece happens. I mean, this movie, you can literally read right through it. And probably the worst thing about Bloodshot is that this is a movie that has no mystery, nor does it have any intrigue whatsoever. This is a movie that would much rather explain everything to you and bulks of exposition like you're an idiot. Like for example, there would be an action sequence and all of a sudden it'd be like, blah, that's all you need to know. So pretty much this movie would be like, action, 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 uh, that's everything. Action, 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 blah. That's everything. There is a huge difference between talking and talking and talking and pretty much giving away everything in the movie at that point to leaving a little breadcrumbs to, I don't know, do a little mystery? And when you couple all of that with a cheesy movie that is just so laughably bad, I mean, you have yourself a recipe for disaster, seriously. And you guys want to hear the worst part of it all? This is supposed to be the first movie of a shared universe. Yeah, good luck with that. So overall, Bloodshot is a movie that is so bad that it is just laughable. I mean, I will say this, if you guys are looking for a movie to watch for a bad movie net where you can just laugh at it, this might be for you. Other than that, Bloodshot is a dumb, cheesy, predictable movie that takes itself way too seriously, so all in all, I'm gonna give Bloodshot a 1 out of 5 stars. I mean, like I mentioned before, if you guys are looking for a bad movie net where you can just watch at some bad movies, I would say probably get this one to watch, but other than that, stay clear. Alrighty guys, so comment down and let me know below. I know this review is a little late, but please let me know below. Did you guys like Bloodshot? Did you hate Bloodshot? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat and Stardust. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links and the usernames are in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Bloodshot. If so, please hit that like button, also subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever a new video of mine goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two videos, please click either right there or there and of course until my next video or review i will see you all next time